We are getting brand new in Azuma 11 Victory Road of Heroes news in February. That's like really, really soon. And we also have a general idea of what we're going to get. So today I want to theorize, what exactly is Hino going to reveal in February? Yes, we may know the basics, but I want to kind of expand on that more and look at exactly what my prediction is for what he will reveal. Whether it's in a blog, whether it's in a trailer, this is my guess for what Hino will show us in February. Also, my prediction is he will show us the news on February 22nd. Write that down, it's happening. First of all, I think there will definitely be another trailer. This will not be a match gameplay trailer really at all. I think it'll be a lot more diverse. I think there will be menus. I think there will be just kind of general walking around, a bit of a glimpse into the story, as well as some information on recruitment. Those are, I think, the main areas that we'll explore, and I'll get into that a little bit in a sec. I do think it'll end with a montage of moves, and these will be the animations he knows been talking about that will be revealed in February. I think these moves will also include some brand new moves, namely for some of our new main characters. Because I think this will be a story trailer, and this whole update will be primarily story focused. The two main guys we've been seeing alongside Unmei, namely Purple Hair and Blue Hair, I think we'll be learning all about them. I think we'll be learning their names, I think we'll be learning kind of their positions maybe, and I think we'll be seeing a new move for both of them. And those moves will be shown in the big montage of moves. Or we might even just see them doing a previously existing move. There will definitely be something to do with them doing moves. And yeah, when Hino says game systems other than matches, to me that screams just kind of walking around, exploring the area, menus, because menus are really cool, and recruitment. I think we'll get some glimpse into how recruitment will work, either in chronicle mode or in just the normal story mode. I think we might see like Unmei recruiting some random scout character and then recruiting Mark Evans. Just kind of giving us a basic idea of how recruitment will work in this game. And I think there'll be one more thing they'll reveal in the trailer. A release date. I know, I know. I'm actually going to predict it. I think there will be some kind of release period. <laughs> I'm not going to say an exact date, because I don't think he knows that much of a madman. But if there is November 14th, but I think there will be just the general holiday kind of period released of it is coming out at the end of the year. October, November, December. One of those three. Either that or it gets delayed and we all cry for another year. Bets are on. But I've predicted that this will be a story trailer. So I think I need to go one step further. I think I need to actually set down my official predictions for the story of Inazuma 11 Victory Road of Heroes. And if any of this is right, I'm a genius. Unmei was long ago traumatized from ever playing football again. But he meets this brown haired boy, who we're just gonna kinda refer to as brown haired boy, who is the, one of the top football players in the country. And he like does some cool skills or whatever he plays, you know, he, he like kicks a ball around. Basically, he bonds with Unmei and Unmei goes, Damn, football's kind of cool, but he doesn't want to play it. He wants to manage it. So he sets up a football team at his school, uh, Naho Rama or whatever it's called. And he sets up this with Blue Hair Boy, who, by the way, is definitely a midfielder with ice moves, ice or water moves. Purple Hair Boy is initially a scary, threatening bully with really good football skills that Unmei catches playing football from time to time. And then eventually Unmei keeps encouraging him, oh, join the club, join the club, come and join the club, like Mark Evans style. Eventually Purple Hair Boy gets worn down and, and reluctantly agrees. And the three, so Unmei, Purple Hair Boy, Blue Hair Boy, form a really cool trio. Purple Hair definitely is all about like the big edgy dark moves. Maybe also a bear move. Definitely a bear shot. He's a striker. If he's a defender, that is the coolest thing he knows ever done. Now the villains. I think this game is going to be Hino taking on capitalism. <laughs> These villains are going to be rich guys who want to invest in, for some reason, <laughs> that I haven't quite figured out, middle school football. Look, they just see the market there. And they want to take over the school brown hair boy plays at. They're also dicks um, because money. And they're also pricks. <laughs> they're evil in a businessy way. And this all eventually leads to brown haired boy's team potentially getting replaced because he obviously doesn't want to play for evil business dicks. Unmei goes to help brown haired boy who has been repeatedly showing up throughout Unmei's journey. 
and the Unai manages his team against the replacement team, but he loses. And then Brown Hair Boy joins Unai's actual proper school team, and together they eventually end up taking on the final boss, who is the evil business guy's team. And also there's a football frontier going on throughout. If any of that is right, I'm a genius. <laughs> but that is my guess for the story of an Azuma and Victory Road of Heroes. We'll find out in February if I was close in the slightest. I imagine we'll learn vague hints about the story, who the villain is, who exactly the brown hair boy is, and maybe who the new characters like blue hair boy and purple hair boy are. And I really hope that they get names so I can stop calling them purple hair boy, blue hair boy, and brown hair boy. But what I want to know is what you guys think. What's your prediction for the news we'll get in February? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.